Swimming pools are supposed to be a nice, chilled out place to hang, but that's not always the case. Sometimes they can be kind of creepy. These are the 20 scariest swimming pools in the world. Number 20. Deep Dive Pool in Dubai Dubai is a place of absolute extremes. It's a country so extremely stuffed full of money that there is gold dripping off of every surface. Well, not quite, but you get the idea. It's extremely hot, it is a desert after all, and it's a place where taking things to the extreme is easy if your pockets are deep enough. So everything is the most in Dubai. They have the tallest building in the world, the biggest shopping mall, and now the world's deepest dive pool as well. The deep dive pool in Dubai attraction is 190 96 feet deep, that's 60 meters, and to be this deep it requires 14 million liters of fresh water, which for perspective is the same volume as six Olympic-sized swimming pools. It's apparently four times bigger than any other diving pool in the world, and has been given the high prize of being named as the world's deepest dive pool by those fabulous clipboard clutchers at the Guinness Book of World Records. The water temperature is kept at a steady 86 degrees Fahrenheit, so as to be as comfortable as possible for diving in just a swimsuit. Unfortunately for most of us riffraff, the pool is presently an invitation-only sort of place, but will be open to the public at some point in the future. The Crown Prince of Dubai is an eager diving enthusiast and was one of the first people to have a go in the new facility, naturally. The country is basically his playground after all, so when he gets bored of this new toy, others will be allowed to take the plunge as well. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. When this photo was uploaded to Reddit, it shocked everyone who saw it. Supposedly snapped by a pool cleaner named Gaston, the photo would be taken while the pool was closed. It's somewhere in the United States, but when he uploaded the photo to the net, he chose not to disclose exactly which pool that it was or even what state it was in. This has led to some accusations that it's a fake, but what do you think? As always, let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below using the hashtag sweet topic. Number 19. Marina Bay Sands Pool, Singapore The infinity pool at the Marina Bay Sands Resort in Singapore boasts that it is the largest in the whole world, and it really is indeed very big. The infinity pool is part of a giant gravity-defying observation deck that overlooks the city. It is spectacular, however you may look at it. But the jewel in this magnificent crown has to be that remarkable infinity pool. It measures a massive 150 meters long, and that's almost 500 feet, you know. In this pool, swimmers can nudge right up against the boundary of the space, and it seems as though there's nothing between the water and the vanishing edge. And there isn't much, just a slender glass barrier, really. For people who like to feel that they're swimming amongst the clouds, or the smog, since it is a city center, then the Sky Park Infinity Pool may offer an unusual experience. You don't need to be staying at the hotel to use the facilities. Tickets are available for a price for mere mortals as well. Just avoid this pool if you are the type to be all wobbly at great heights. Number 18. Hilton, Auckland, New Zealand. Here's one for the exhibitionists amongst you. If popping your swimming cozy on and bearing all to a passing naval cruiser is your idea of fun, then why not go and try the uniquely positioned swimming pool at the Hilton in Auckland, New Zealand. This is another one of those high up in the air, although this one is just on the fourth floor of the hotel, it's still pretty high up, and it overlooks the pic picturesque sights of Auckland's harbor. The pool itself appears to be a bit of an open secret. It's visible from the outside, but not really from the inside of the hotel, and many guests are not even aware that it exists. That may be for the best, as this pool seems to be all about the style and basically zero about the substance. It's kind of a long and rather narrow pool, so really not an ideal shape or size for many swimmers to partake in at the same time. In fact, it looks as though it may be very photogenic in a fish tank kind of way, but when it comes down to it, that's probably about it. A gimmick to get its picture taken. Have you swum in this novelty swim 
swimming pool looks a little bit rubbish to me, so if you have given it a bash and you thought it was wonderful, then please do go ahead and correct me if I'm wrong, because that's exactly what the comments section down below is for. Number 17. Devil's Pool Victoria Falls if swimming in a regular, mildly dangerous manner, you know, with just the normal risk of drowning and whatnot, is getting to be just a little bit boring for you, thrill-seeking daredevils, well, then you might try this crazy place out. With a name like the Devil's Pool, you can probably infer that this is not the most peaceful or even gentle of swimming spots on the planet. But what exactly is so very dangerous about the place, you may ask? Well, it is perched atop a gigantic Victoria Falls waterfall in Africa, and if you take a dip here, you're literally dicing with death, risking an accidental plunge that takes you 354 feet down to the falls. The Victoria Falls is located on the border of Zambia and Zimbabwe. A colossal 38,430 cubic feet of water fall down here every single second. It's no dribble, it's a raging furious beast of fierce and dangerous water. In order to reach the Devil's Pool, it's necessary to swim across a section of the Zambezi River, which is itself fraught with hazards. But rest assured, your guide's going to check the place for crocodiles and hippos before you take that plunge, so it may not actually be a good spot for you to take your nan for her aquafit class. Number 16. The Cambrian Pool, Switzerland. Ah yes, healthy, healthy Swiss mountain air, complete with a fancy hotel and all the stuff you need to go and get fully rested and healthified. And there is this posh pool too. What more could you ever want? Up in the Swiss Alps, the Cambrian is basically a hotel with a bunch of views and some waterfalls near the spa facilities. To be honest, it does seem as though the infinity pool at this hotel was built with photographs in mind. It has surely graced the cover of every travel magazine on the planet, and no doubt features heavily in any personal photo album that a visitor may have after their own visit here. It is mighty impressive all year round, and probably rather nice to loll about in, if you can afford the rather expensive exclusive price tag that is number 15 wave pool in china when a swimming pool hits the headlines, it's usually not a good sign, especially when, like this one, the headlines read, 44 swimmers injured by giant wave at Chinese water park. Yikes! Back in the summer of 2019, the so-called tsunami pool at the Yulong Shuyin water park in the city of Longjing was closed after a machine malfunctioned and caused an absolute gigantic artificial wave to wipe out dozens of swimmers. Not an ideal situation. Apparently, the so-called called malfunction was actually caused by a drunk man. Perhaps he nodded off at the controls. Who can say? Anyways, the result was that a whole bunch of unsuspecting people in rubber rings suddenly found themselves riding on top of an enormous and out-of-control tsunami. Not exactly the kind of fun they were looking for. The result was that a lot of injuries occurred, a heap of negative headlines, and a closing down of the pool in question. Perhaps a nice gentle paddle in the kiddie pool. Number 14. Koh Samui Blood Pool, Thailand. Now, you do have to wonder what's going on in some of these designers' minds sometimes. The Library Resort is located in Thailand, and it's a place that's famous for its super sleek minimalist design. It has all the most pointy and sharp angled architecture that you would expect from a modern and highly desirable vacation destination. But alongside all of that contemporary stuff, there's a color scheme that might have been better left out of some aspects of the resort's design. Throughout most of the hotel complex, there's an extensive use of gray and white colors in order to create relaxing and calming environments. But when they got to designing the swimming pool, it appears that they may have actually lost their minds. Possibly, literally, and into the pool itself, judging from the color. Yes, the swimming pool is red. It looks exactly like a pool of blood. Probably not the most inviting color scheme for a relaxing swim, but you know, what do I know? The color actually comes from the tiles that they used to line the whole swimming pool area, and these are actually red, orange, and yellow, but that doesn't really matter when you look at it as a whole, because it simply looks like a bloodbath. 
Number 13. Y40, the deep joy Italy. And now for something completely different. The Y40 indoor swimming pool in Italy is the deepest in the whole world, but this is no regular family fun pool. Located at the Hotel Terme Milipini, this pool is 137 feet, but is much more than a simple swimming facility. In fact, this is a prime spot for diving training and other leisure diving experiences, but as well as that, this is a location in which many underwater film and photo shoots take place. The pool features four underwater caves as well as an underwater tunnel for observers who don't fancy getting their own feet wet. So if watching people get wet is something that you enjoy, well this may be the place for you. This pool is actually located in a spa town, so the Y40 is filled with all of that lovely life-giving spa water and has a balmy constant temperature of around 90 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's entirely comfortable to dive here without a wetsuit. At the equivalent of a 12-story building, the depth of this pool is kind of frightening. Even if you are into all that scuba diving business, this one is not for beginners or the faint of heart. Number 12. Infinity Pool at the Jewel, Dallas, Texas. Now, when you think of fancy infinity pools, you likely imagine Bali or the Maldives or some such vacation spot with epic sea views and sunbathing opportunities. But how about an infinity pool that hangs out on top of downtown Dallas in Texas? Well, why the heck not? Infinity pools are all the rage, so it makes as much sense as anything else in the world. This hotel is located in a classic 1920s neo-gothic landmark building in downtown Dallas. The whole place has been completely jazzed up to be the modern and stylish Jewel Hotel. complete with all the frilly bits, including the rooftop infinity pool. The pool doesn't just sit on top of the building. Oh no, why be so boring? It actually pokes out over the edge of the building by a full eight feet, so you can take a swim with undisturbed views across the city skyline, and if you like, all the way down to the street below. What's this trend about? Why do hotels seem to be obsessed with dangling their guests off the side of their buildings these days? Is this what consumers are demanding? Do we really need to keep finding new novelties? Or is this just a lot of extra nonsense that they can charge us extra for the privilege of experiencing? What do you think? Do your pools need to be in a precarious position to be fun? Let me know in the comments down below. Number 11. Holiday Inn Pool Shanghai at the top of the Holiday Inn in Shanghai, China, there's one of those deeply unnerving swimming pools that sticks out of the side of the building and basically offers swimmers a full, unimpeded view to the bone-shattering street down below. In recent years, probably as we all become more and more bored with our constantly entertained lives of cat videos and Karen memes, it seems to have become necessary for all the stuff around us to constantly fight for our very short attention spans. That means that everything from food to celebrities are in a permanent state of reinvention and one-upmanship. Buildings, it turns out, are not immune to this seemingly insatiable requirement to be more novel, or at least more distracting than the next edifice, and for some inexplicable reason, architects are obsessed with dangling swimming pools off the edges of high buildings and using as much see-through material as possible in order to maximize the vertigo elements of the experience. So, the Holiday Inn in Shanghai is the perfect spot to really enjoy the terrifying views, right down to the 24 stories that hover over the streets, while also sucking in all the polluted air that you can handle. Probably as you hyperventilate when you look through the glass bottom of the pool. Ah, such fun. Number 10. Swimming Pool at Hotel Hubertus, Italy with some of the most incredible views that any swimming pool is ever likely to offer, this crazy place in the mountains of Italy may also come with a side effect of giving swimmers a dose of vertigo as well as all the benefits of an outdoor swim. Suspended 40 feet above the ground, this unusual 82-foot-long swimming pool overlooks the Dolomites at the Hotel Hubertus, a wellness resort for skiers. The pool is full of cold, fresh mountain water and gives swimmers the sensation of swimming in the sky. 
The infinity pool is positioned on a cantilever design, so it juts out over the mountain edge, which gives the distinct impression that it's actually floating up there. When you add to that the fact that this infinity pool not only feels as though it goes off into the horizon, but that those slightly mad architects behind its design have also added a window, the sensation is truly that of swimming at a great height with nothing between you and the edge of a cliff. Well, how do you feel about such things? Would you enjoy a plunge at the edge of a mountain? Let's have a discussion about all things scary in the swimming pool department down there in the comments below, shall we? Number 9. Odysseo Casino this trend for dangling pools over the edge of buildings is getting just a little bit out of control. I mean, honestly, what seems to have been a bit of a novelty to begin with may now be verging on ridiculous. Is this about offering visitors a thrill by hanging them off the edge of a great height? Or is this a sneaky budget option? You know, real estate wise. If you're using up extra space in the air, it's not technically in the footprint of the building itself. A sneaky land grab, perhaps. Who can say? But at some point, all these swimming pools that are sticking out all over the place are going to start cluttering up the space above the streets and blocking out the sun to the buildings beneath them. Then people may begin to notice this cheeky construction work around. Anyhow, here we are again, poking pools off of precipices. This time, we're in Spain, where Clavel Architects have built a lovely shiny new pool for the Odysseo Casino and Leisure Complex. And yes, they've dangled it over the edge of the building. Actually, the 42-meter long swimming pool has a 20-meter cantilever on each side and is boasting that it offers some of the best views of the city. Well, it would if you could stand the vertigo of swimming off the edge like this. Number 8. Swala Luxury Lodge Pool, Tanzania If being up high in the air isn't enough to get your adrenaline to heart attacking inducing levels, then you could always try this crazy pool in Tanzania. Wild swimming has really taken off lately. People just can't get enough of stripping off and taking the plunge wherever the urge brings them, be that a river, the ocean, or a pool smack bang in the middle of a habitat of some of the most dangerous animals on the planet. Although this particular pool is part of the Sanctuary Retreats Resort, it's actually located in the middle of the wild savanna of Tanzania. That's right, where all the animals are. You too can feel the same sensation of a stranded gazelle by a watering hole as a group of lions begin to circle, licking their lips. Well, if that's all and good for you, then this is a place for you. Take a paddle, but keep your wits about you, and you might want to check for crocodiles and such like lurkers in the water before you do that belly flop into the lagoon. Number 7. Anaha Tower, Hawaii now here we go again, another point, another pool hanging out over the street. This exciting new architecture is getting kind of old already. So rooftops and infinity pools are such a kind of old hat now, this cantilevered business is really where it's at in the modern world of swimming pools. People don't want to swim in a boring old indoor or even regular old outdoor one either. No, we demand that all pools should stick out the sides of buildings and have glass bottoms so we can see everything thing down below. And more importantly, all the people on the street can see us in our fancy schmancy cool swimming pool situation. Here's another one poking out of an apartment complex on the Hawaiian island of Oahu. It sticks out the side and over the street below by four and a half meters. That's almost 15 feet and is about 23 meters from the ground, which is 75 feet. Who said aquariums are just for fish? We need to be on permanent display. And the one place that we can't be constantly on our phones and updating every one of our latest extremely important outfit or thought or meal choice, well, that's when we're in a swimming pool. So to be be sure that everyone can see us, the pool needs to be see-through and as visible to as many people in the vicinity as possible. Whew, you wouldn't want to waste a minute of that potential attention, would ya? Number 6. Bandra Om, India the concept for this residential skyscraper seems to incorporate a whole mixture of the various sorts of sky pools and aquarium stylings that are all the rage right now in architecture. This proposed building in Mumbai incorporates people-sized fish tanks on the balconies so that the inhabitants can float about in a pool and be absolutely certain that everyone around them can see them doing so. Such fun! This 30-story building is designed to be super prestigious and luxurious, and why would you have all that swanky stuff 
if not to show it off. The designers, of course, say that the design of these pools is actually all about erasing the line between living space and the surrounding world. Well, that's easy to say from the high-rise luxury of your super pricey exclusive apartment now, isn't it? But that surrounding world isn't all swimming pools and sunbeams. Number 5. Crocosaurus Cove, Australia Sliding through a shark tank with that super thick plexiglass between you and the toothy exhibits may seem tame next to this one. Although, frankly, the idea of this sounds proper exciting to me, but then again, you know how I feel about crocodiles. This is an unusual attraction in Darwin in Australia's Northern Territory, where visitors to Crocosaurus Cove can actually get into the water with a gigantic saltwater crocodile. It's not quite as mad as it may sound, obviously. After all, feeding your visitors to hungry predators is not a good business model, so that isn't exactly how they do it here. What actually occurs is that visitors pop on a think suit and get inside a contraption that is reassuringly named the Cage of Death. This is a plexiglass box that's lowered into the water of a crocodile pool, all in the safety of a carefully controlled, tourist-friendly environment, of course. From inside this container, visitors can hang out in close proximity to massive scaly reptiles as they swim about in the water, but they can't actually get close enough to be eaten, so that's a relief then. Saltwater crocodiles are amongst Australia's deadliest animals, and you know they have a lot of those, so this is an experience that feels kind of dangerous, even though participants are completely protected for the whole duration. How else are you going to get up close and personal with a beast that could snap you in half and live to tell the tale? Number 4. Embassy Gardens, London's Floating Sky Pool Oh, another one of these see-through suspended swimming pools. This time we're in London, a city that's not exactly synonymous with the weather that's required for outdoor swimming, but what do I know? The Sky Pod is a floating pool that's suspended 115 feet up in the air, located between two blocks of apartments in the residential area of Nine Elms in Vauxhall, London. This current hotspot is not only a novelty with all the glass-bottomed terror of swimming up in the air, but it also offers incredible views of the city, including the London Eye and the Houses of Parliament. So uh, that right there is something to look at when you're trying not to look down and descend into blind panic. The pool isn't really open to the public and is only available to residents of those fancy flats and their guests, but frankly, as far as I'm concerned, they can keep their see-through sky pool to themselves because it just gives me the Wigan simply to look at it. Number 3. Pool of Death, Hawaii. With a name like the Pool of Death, it should come as no surprise that this is possibly one of the most dangerous places to swim on the planet. You have been warned. The Pool of Death is located on an island in Hawaii, and it's a body of water that seems to have a very unsavory habit of killing off the people that have the audacity or perhaps the recklessness to swim here. The pool itself may look pleasant and inviting for a peaceful dip, but don't let appearances fool you. The danger of this place lies in the unpredictable sea right beside the pool. The little rocky cove is surrounded by walls of volcanic rocks, and that pool is full of stunningly clear and sparkling water. But then suddenly, and it really does come out of nowhere, the huge waves from the ocean can rush into this idyllic scene and, well, drown you until you're completely and utterly dead. And that would, frankly, really spoil that swim. This is no exaggeration. The pool of death has taken many lives in just such a manner, and it really is no place for a dip, so don't try this one at home. Number 2. Siam Park, Tenerife, Spain this is the largest water park and happens to be in Tenerife, one of the Canary Islands. It's full of all that stuff that you would imagine a water park to have, and then some. Siam Park has a vast network of water slides and wave pools, a couple of super exciting water rides, and some relaxing junk too. Like Thai-style cabanas, if you like that sort of thing. But the feature that makes this place stand out more from the rest is its lazy river. Well, actually, it's the place that it takes you to that's unusual.
The slow-moving warm water that begins the Lazy River slide was just a gentle introduction to its affairs. It soon ramps right up and whisks you off into a raging river, downhill, and into a secret shark tank below. But fear not, this is not an elaborate Bond villain murder tank. These sharks are properly contained, and the Lazy River slows down again to allow riders to fully enjoy the face-to-face -face experience of these fearsome predators. So, just so you know, even if a shark did bite you, they would likely just spit you back out again. Human meat is apparently not all that tasty to sharks at all. They don't realize that until they've had a nibble, but these sharks are behind glass, so I'm sure you'll be just fine, probably. Number 1. Deep Spot in Poland until Dubai came along with their massive deep dive, this pool was the official deepest in the world. So, deep diving is basically anything below a depth of 30 meters, and this place was pretty deep, for a short while anyways. Deep Spot in Poland is located in a town with a distinctly unpronounceable name, with 17 consonants all smushed together, about 30 miles to the south of Warsaw. It's 45 meters deep, or 150 feet if you prefer, which was pretty impressive. That was until Dubai made their 60 meters deep and basically did a big V's up to this Polish kiddie pool. It was designed for diving training and welcomes divers of all levels right from beginners. And you don't even have to be a crown prince or anything to get inside of it. Well, there you have it. Yet another list of scary swimming pools for your eyeballs. Do you feel inspired to go sling a paddling pool on the roof of your bungalow? Or perhaps you have loftier ideas involving cantilevers and other such architectural delight. Let me know all of your best scary pool thoughts in the comments section down below. Be sure to check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.